Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be, again, Star Kong, New York City land. 12 o'clock location, we have Tim starting as the red Protoss, bottom left hand corner, we have Sugo starting as the midnight blue Protoss. This is going to be on Neo Sylphid, just in case you forgot how it looked. Got that, got the third base, although keep in mind that gas is not as plush as a stereotypical third expansion, which means you have to be a little bit more aggressive after your initial two bases. I don't know if a third base it's not very often where... I feel like typically in PvP there's some sort of engagement that happens within the first 12 minutes. And as a result, the third base isn't usually a math... It's usually a capping factor for victory rather than a... Ooh, I took this third base and therefore I'm able to secure the lead. But I do want to say Tim running into a huge probe deficit early and having a beautiful recovery with a faster Nexus... In, in turn to Sugo's two gate observer build and able to pull out a win. But having that side storm timing, absolutely fantastic. And just ending up with a kind of a chaotic fight that I think threw Sugo a little bit for a loop. Sugo did have Archons. Unfortunately, I think more often than not, you want those Archons either on top of the Dragoons or engaging usually a pile of Zealots that are speeding forward to kind of get that splash shred. You don't want to have them fighting against Dragoons at a distance where they can kind of stutter step and walk. Sugo opting to scout this time. I wonder if this means... No, he's going, in fact, Gateway Assimilator. We do have a scout a little bit later from Tim. He's going Gateway Assimilator as well. I feel like three gate builds are pretty strong on this map. I also feel like Zealot builds are strong on this map because of the lack of a ramp. Where you only have the uh, Lurker Eggs creating the blockade. But first scout... For Sugo, Tim going to check bottom right. Otherwise, basically mirrored build orders. Maybe, a, again, a sliver, like a sneeze of an economic build order to Tim because he just had a maybe a mineral pile or two move in a little bit earlier. But Sugo, with the advantage, I would say overall, because he's got the scouting information, I would say that probe maybe getting disrupted for a half second might make up the difference. Trying to disrupt the cast line as best he can. An initial zealot being built to on both ends, but maybe a little bit more crucial for Tim to deal with the annoying probe. Actually, chasing that probe off briefly. So Sugo doing a pretty good job, if nothing else, creating that alert on the front. It's actually interesting with the probe mechanic of recharging the shield. I think they still recharge shield when they're in the assimilator. A little bit overpowered if you think about it. I'm sure many Terran would agree. So Zealot trying to kind of doing the Akity Sax thing with probes on both ends. Waiting for the Dragoons to finish, and we'll see if there's any differential on build order from there. Otherwise, things about dead even, and I will go and while we have that open space, I want to talk about the rant of like how can I explain how good these players are? Part of the problem is is you have the Koreans out there who are absolutely insane and completely dedicate their lives to this. And so it's... Tim really wanting to, after losing that probe and his main wants to make sure he can get this probe opposite side. I think the, the way to appreciate it actually is if you get the opportunity to just go and observe or participate in one of these lands, to go to it. Or if you can watch people that have the hand cam on Twitch, check them out because you can just see how, how rapid the hand movements are. So speaking of that three gate, looks like we are going to have the three gate play from Tim. Second gateway down, but we have a Citadel of a Dune building for Sugo. And we'll see if this is just going to be three gate into expansion. Three gate, pre usually it's three gate pressure, but sometimes it's three gate robotics to potentially negate this sort of thing that, oh, it looks like we're seeing three gate in the opposite side as well. This is, I have not seen this actually in a long time. Three gate Citadel of a Dune cancellation of the third gateway actually instead from Sugo. That was an interesting decision right there. I have seen three gate pressure into basically you just three gate pressure DT follow up so you're just trying to distract your opponent for such a long period of time that they don't get the anti DT measures and you win the game that way. Unfortunately for Tim he's continuing to build Dragoons. He's starting to move out now and oof I think he's, well, we'll see how it plays out. Because there is a world where Tim just ends up 
overwhelming. Unfortunately, this isn't the engagement. Ending up with just having to pull back and delay a little bit and actually shredding a bit of shield, which is going to lay him further. There's a world where he just ends up with such a fantastic engagement on the front that Sugo has to sit back and deal with the troops that are flooding his base and dedicate DTs that way, and then he can get a forge up and maybe some sort of defense. But right now, what it's looking like is Sugo's going to have plenty of troops to deal with the Dragoons, the DTs, would be able to be the factor right here, and Tim just has built nothing. Absolutely no form of anti-detection. He was just rolling the dice in that regard uh, In that regard, with his own play, wanting to get aggressive, and now does he see the Shimmer is the next thing. So moves in, does not see the Shimmer, That was, might have, but now definitely knows. And this is the opportunity where you gotta pull the Dragoon, if you're hoping to win this, you want to pull those Dragoons back and actually blockade your front. This Dark Templar are making a beeline. Do we have any form of... We do have the Forge being built. Tim sacrificing troops on the front. And one DT being left from Sugo. One Dragoon blockading, make, allowing that DT to have better work. So Tim's initial gambit getting completely crushed. The Dark Templar are able to walk in. The Forge just now finishes. But unfortunately, it is not going to be enough. There's the cannon building. And that is probably game... Oh, brutal for Tim. There's GG. Not the way you wanted to see the game three go, but unfortunately that's what we end up with. Tim moves on to the uh, lower bracket, which I think I already casted the games between uh, Tim and Semi, unfortunately. We got Sugo advancing uh, across the upper bracket. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.